Hey y'all, my name is Katie, and on today's episode of AFI's DIYs, we'll be making melt and pour soap. Melt and pour soap is pre-made soap that you can melt down and it'll reharden. It's an easy way to customize soap using your own molds. Let's take a closer look. For supplies, you'll need a double boiler, a utensil for stirring, a silicone soap mold. To make two bars of soap, you will need one cup or 97.8% of cubed melt and pour soap, rubbing alcohol spray, one fourth teaspoon or 0.5% of mica colorant, four milliliters or 1.7% of fragrance oil. I wanted this to smell fun and cheerful, so I headed to the AFI library and chose fresh peach. Mmm, this is exactly what I was going for. Because we'll be using the set in a bar of soap, we need to check the IFR limits to make sure to skin safe. Be sure to do the same before you make your final selection of fragrance for this product. Now we're ready to jump into the steps. First, place the soap, melt, and pour cubes into the double boiler and heat until they are melted. It's important to not let the cubes boil, just melt enough till they're liquefied. Then allow the mixture to cool for one minute and add your colorant in the fragrance. Stir well. Next, pour the mixture into the soap molds and spray the tops with the rubbing alcohol to remove any air bubbles. Finally, allow them to harden for three to four hours. And that's it, your melt and pour soap is ready to go. This product cost us about a dollar to make. You can sell it wholesale for two to three and retail for four to five. Making this reminds me of the time we made cold processed soap. Be sure to check out that video too. Thanks again for stopping by guys. We really hope you enjoyed this AFI DIY. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next DIY. Bye for now.